Yo, what is up guys? It's Guilty. I got another quick tip video for today. This one's going to be over Tracer. We're going to be doing this one a little bit differently, mainly because Tracer's kit is so self-explanatory. So I have some gameplay here in the background, and let's go ahead and talk about the tips. So the first tip I have for you is actually pretty simple. It's to always try to have one blink available. Tracer's a great character to get behind enemy lines, but because you're always behind enemy lines, you can sometimes find yourself in situations where you don't want to be in. By keeping one blink available, you always kind of have a way out, or at least a way to, you know, kind of take cover. Uh, that most characters can which is why she is so proficient at flanking. So the second tip I have for you really only applies to Tracer 1v1s uh, But basically the tip is the first to rewind is the first to lose and what I mean by that is when both players are 1v1ing both Tracers and they're both hitting their shots the player that rewinds first uses their self heal um, and if there's no really health pack around they really can't heal themselves so if you use your you know, heal second, you'll be able to kind of outlast them and win the, I guess you could say, the war of attrition. So it's very important to remember and it can kind of be hard to judge when to use your rewind because there's sometimes where if you need, a, if you're going to live, you're going to have to use your rewind and then get out of the fight. But if you intend to, uh, you know, fight till the death, I guess you could say, you want to try to always use your rewind second. The biggest threat to a Tracer is a McCree stun, and outside of the McCree stun, there really isn't much McCree can do against Tracer provided you have good movement. So when you're playing Tracer, you always want to keep in mind when McCree stun is up, and if you know it's up, you want to try to bait it out because it's actually fairly easy because it is a projectile, and I'll show you here in the next clip how to do that. So this is obviously something that's super easy to do, but whenever you find yourself close to McCree by accident or if you even want to try to bait out McCree on your own, uh, it's something to keep in mind that you can do. Uh, just go basically blink really close to him and immediately blink back and he'll probably use his stun if he has it up. Um, and this is a great way to tell if a McCree doesn't have stun. If you see him directly and you know he sees you and you blink at him and blink back and he didn't use his stun, chances are he probably doesn't have his stun up so he's pretty much a free kill for you. So the next tip I have for you is actually more team oriented, but it's still important nonetheless. Tracer ult comes up quite a bit, but you always want to check and see if your Zarya has ult on your team. Uh, it's a good easy way to get a team light possibly, or at least bait out a Lucy ult or Mercy Red. So it's something to keep in mind whenever you get your ult, at least just check or you know ask your Zarya how close she is to ult. Uh, it's not worth saving, like if your Zarya is at you know 60%, or not 60%, but like 50% and you have ult, or even sometimes 60, uh, you can pretty get much get your ult next fight. So don't necessarily sit on your uh, your Tracer ult just because your Zarya doesn't have ult right away. Um, but be you know be uh, wary and be checking when your Zarya has ult because it is something that you can combo with. All right, guys, so the last tip I have, we actually did a whole video on, so if you're interested, you can check it out after this. Uh, but it's using your blinks to get to advantageous positions. You know, Tracer's blink is just like, you know, a Firefly. You know, there's places you can get to with it that other characters can't. Uh, there's routes you can take that most characters can't. Uh, like I said, I did a whole video on that. It's, a, you know, it's very important to know the map. So a big part of playing Tracer is knowing where you can go and, uh, you know, what you can do with your blinks. But it's something you need to know as a Tracer player, you know, how far your blink can take you, where you can go with your blink. So keep that in mind when playing Tracer. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing more of these. I know I said I'd do Farah, but uh, I had some computer issues, so I ended up just, you know, re completely restarting the video. But I will be doing Farah next, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.